Hey guys, JH. Welcome to practice tea. When I was doing that video yesterday, <laughs> and squeaking, there were rabbits over here. I never see them during the daytime, but they were here. They might have thought it was other rabbits squeaking. Amazing. Of course, I wouldn't do it around where there was any people. I'd look like a complete pillock. Okay, guys, just something today to help you with alignment, um, setting up to the golf ball, simplification of setting up to the golf ball and getting the feel of what you should be doing when setting up to the golf ball with this back ball position. Something might make it just easy. Um, I'm, you know, I've basically have been suggesting that we just started off the back foot like that and then bring everything else into play. But you can do it a simpler way than that. You can set up normally as you would the ball off the left heel or something. Just keep the hands in that configuration there and then just walk under the shaft like that. And that's where you need to be, guys. So we're just in our normal address position here. Ball off the left heel, forward of center of a, in a normal golf swing. I'll get like this. Forward of center of a normal golf swing here. And then we just walk forward underneath it here. That's pretty simple. As opposed to getting the feel of being back here. I can do it because I've done it from day one. But for people who have a conventional golf swing and are converting, if you're starting here, if you play the ball up near your left heel or something, just keep everything here configured. And you'll notice as you walk under the shaft, here walk laterally, sideways here, that the shoulders will automatically close up. They just do that, guys. So you can do that as a, as a process of... Um, of setting up if you want to. What what Bill Phillips showed was perfect, as is everything, because Bill Bill simplifies uh, channel lock and and the mechanics, you know, very very well. Okay, now one of the other things that I touched on yesterday uh, was trying to 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 incorporate in your golf swing some trail foot verticalization going down I said this morning in a post to Bill Phillips that a couple of years ago Martin Ayres and myself were at, a, at, a, at the JH practice range out here at another uh, driving range out here and Steve Elkington was there with us and we were just talking about stuff and he was hitting the ball and he just came up with something and he said, well, what I've always done, because he loves to really pressure into the ground. And he said that what he did, when he did in his golf swing, and still does, is he used to get his toes, guys, and he'd pull his toes back under. You know, just, you know, get the toes and crunch them back underneath his, you know, the, the pads of the front of his foot, the ball of his foot. That's what, that's what he felt like at a dress. He used to just pull his toes in. And what that did was, was force the weight down. And we did that, we thought he was nuts, but we did that and it was fantastic, but you forget, but I remember Steve said that. And of course you don't get a better ball striker than that guy. And Martin Ayers does the same. I think Marty uh, applied that after uh, Steve told us. So you can do that if you want to, but the main thing is guys, that we get some pressure down. I just feel heavy buttocks. I feel, you know, back of the thighs here. I feel like you know, the weight is going into that trail foot. And if you could just hit a couple of shots. I just feel that the, that the legs are very saggy and, well, not so much bouncy, but just, well, saggy. Soggy legs. Remember we spoke about soggy legs before? Here. Okay, we don't want to do this, which Bill alluded to this morning. We don't want to have the weight going that way. We just want to have the weight going vertically down. That's all it is. It's a vertical down um, placement of the weight. That's all it is. A push down into the ground.
may not be a good angle here, but there's a guy up here with some cows. I don't want to knock him or the cows out. So, okay, so what we're talking about, we're talking about normal position here. And then all we do is we walk under the shaft to here. As soon as you walk under the shaft, you'll feel your shoulders doing that. Now, guys, you don't need to have a massive amount of, 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 of shoulder alignment. You really don't need to have huge amounts. You only need to have you know, a few degrees when you attack the ball. By the time you attack the ball, you just want the shoulders closed. You don't need huge amounts of, um, of shoulder angle. But the good thing is, if you have a fair bit to start with, that's an insurance policy. So that if you start to open it up a little bit, which you probably will, you've still got enough there because you built it in initially to have closed shoulders at impact. That guy's gone now. So here we are, guys. We're pushing down, that trail foot is pushing down, down, down. And we're, we're going to keep that, that trail foot down. Like that. Just hit a couple of shots like that. Now, I may look like I'm hanging back, but I'm not. I'm just staying in my shape here. See, my shoulder's still over my right foot. It's not outside. My right foot's still over my right foot. So I'm just staying in the shot. Here. Maintaining my my address uh, positioning and posture. Just hit a couple of shots like that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hit it with a five iron like I've got here, but um, you know, just get out of an you know, eight iron or, or something like that and, and you don't have to hit it out of four inch deep rough like I'm doing here. Tell you what guys, it uh, builds the forearm muscles up hitting out of this rough all the time. Just hit one this way, and it may, may, may not be a good angle, but the foot foot is going to be down. Picked a hand, the Peter Thompson steady head. Oh, okay, just snuck. Gee, that's a good shot. Just snuck that trail foot up a little bit, but I think it was post impact rather than impact. But but the drill here is to just keep it down a little bit after impact in the post-impact phase of the golf swing. We just want it here. Like even Mo Norman. Mo Norman was here, got through to here, and then he lifted it up to release of the, uh, of the energy in the body. I do feel a different, no question I feel a different level of impact when that, that trail foot is down and I'm stabilised in the hip girdle when I hit it. I, it's just a mechanism that that gives you an opportunity to to make the hit more efficient, I guess. I guess, I guess, yeah, a, a robot. You know, a robot has its two base positions there, and the arm swings around those two base positions, the two uh, the two foundations into the ground here. And if we can feel a bit like a like a robot. Wow. And you get a lot of clamp on that. See, I normally don't get a lot of clamp. I'm a sweeper. But that's a lot of clamp on that, you know, which, is, which is that. I'm more a sweeper than a clamper. But by staying in the shot and with the shot, you're really here when you hit it. Well, in or out here. And we're still releasing. We never ever want to be like that in a golf shot because that's no release. We want to be here. With the club face released towards the target. As I say our shoulders are pointing to the for right handed to the right of the target, but the club face always releases towards the target. And again, guys, just going over old stuff, but in terms of getting if you just did nothing else, if you just set up to hit the golf ball and you just put it right back there off the back with square shoulders. Just square shoulders. And you hit the ball from here. I'd hit it 40 yards right. because the, the angle of attack is so pronounced into out with the ball back there. You know, the arc of the swing is still tracking into out significantly. So from, from that back ball position with square shoulders, I'm just gonna hit it straight right. So 
and, and I'm going to have exactly the same shot in channel lock, the same shape and everything, but I'm just going to bring that straight right. Just going to bring that straight right. I'll do it more from here. If I'm just here, and I've just got the ball in my shoulders, the square, I'm coming in, I'm here. So that's, that's, that's the direction of the club. It's straight right. So what I've got to do, guys, is I've got to bring that, that straight right around to straight at the target. Well, just a little right at the target. And all I've done there is I've just aimed, aimed, aimed those closed shoulders a little further left. That's all I've done. That's the simplicity of it. And you just need to hit some shots. If you just want to set up with the ball back off, off the trail foot, just dead square, dead square shoulders, dead, dead square, no, no closure. Okay, that just goes 30 yards straight right. Beautiful shot, but just 30 yards straight right. Now all I have to do to get that to go to the target, instead of 30 yards right, is bring all this around to here. And then I can still be coming into out on my shoulder line, but my into out will basically be just to the right of the target for right-handed person. That's the simplicity. Now it's the simplicity of the geometry, but it's very difficult to take on board. That is hard to take on board because it, we, we've never done that. We don't do that in a conventional golf swing, guys. Not at all. Not in any manner of form. We just don't do that. We're always up here forward, and we're always trying to release the club on an arc around the body with body rotation, and the standard line is finished with all your weight on your lead side here, fully released, and the weight distributed over there. We don't want to do that in channel lock. We don't want to rotate at all. We want to be here when we hit it. But we want to have our shoulders just a little bit to the right of the target line, so we're hitting into out. Just beautiful shot. Simplicity there, guys. I'm automatically uh, conditioned now to, to just aim that little bit left when I set up. So I probably look like I'm aiming straight at the target, but I, I'm left and then I back cock a little bit onto the target. But you just need to go out and hit some shots, guys. Okay, you're hitting it right. So the normal thing with any goal shot, you're hitting it right and you're hitting it right all the time, just move around to the left, aim further left. And that's all you've got to do, just aim further left. If you hit the ball, if you set up dead square at address and you hit the ball straight right, then your shoulders are closed, which is exactly what we want in channel lock. And the club is coming in the channel beside the body. However, if you set up with the club, with the ball back there, with, with, with square shoulders, and then you hit it, and the ball goes over here, you roll the shoulders. The shoulders are rolling open. Now that, that, that's just a drag, that's just a pull drag. Because I've come in here off a back foot position and I've rolled the shoulders. And, and the ball has gone left to left. You can't do that. So it's, it's, it's basically guys, just, just hitting shots and then say, okay, I just got to take this structure further left. I like this, this straight push shot that I'm getting. So my shoulders must be closed if I'm, uh, if I'm hitting it off that back foot ball position with a square alignment and the ball's going right, so my shoulders must be angled to the right. So I've just got to bring those shoulders around a little bit by turning my body. It is that simple. And you just need to hit some shots to get that feeling. Foot down, wow, good shot there. My goodness. Whew. Okay, that is, that's a convoluted practice action, but the more you, the more you overemphasize it in your practice, the more you'll, you'll build it into your golf swing with the amount that we need 
for the good stabilization of the head. That's all it is guys, overdo it in practice and then um, we can bleed a little bit of that overdo out in final analysis, or I'll hit a proper shot here but I won't overdo the foot down. Wow. Steady head. And I've got the one inch acceleration point in the golf swing. Feeling like nothing is happening from the top here, just there. Just goes here. Just right there at the bottom. Just hit a few of those. Just hit a few of those. That that is that is so late as a hit, but it's not late in conventional terms. We're not trying to hold the club back. All we're trying to do is just not apply the hit impulse to very late in the golf swing. Like that. That's a beautiful shot. And the impact that you feel off the face there is unbelievable. And it's just dead flush. I diddle diddle in the middle. And all that is, guys, is getting rid of the hit impulse from here and just applying it there. There. Just hit a few of those shots. It's a great feeling. Now, it won't look like that in my normal swing because my normal swing has you know, a higher tempo attached to it. But my intention is very much that. Even though the tempo is up, my intention to hit the ball is still very late in the in the process, like a couple of inches from the golf ball. Now that's very leisurely, guys. And you could do that. Now I'm a quick swinger, but I can do that. Why can I do that? Because I'm really thinking about doing it. You'll do what your brain tells you to do, providing that the brain program and message is strong enough. You'll absolutely do. That's what I call gathering. We're gathering momentum. Jackie Burke uh, used to say that. He says, you gather. Jack Nicholas says, you gather. He said he gathers himself for the down hits. Well, Jackie Burke says that the acceleration comes from gathering it. And then you gather it all up and then you just apply it at the ball. Those guys knew, knew all about it, guys, back in the 40s and 50s. They knew it all. You couldn't be the type of ball strikers they were. Someone like Jackie Burke, <laughs> you're talking about one of the greatest ball strikers in the history of golf. So we're just going to gather it. With both feet down. Just gather the club, or gather the momentum and then just let it apply itself, guys. Gather and, and let it go. Just hit some of those, just a little three quarter shots like that. They're great. Okay, guys, that was just a little bit today. Just wanted to come out here and uh, and do some camera settings today so I'm just trying a few different angles. Okay, hope that information's helpful.